I get asked an awful lot about how we fix the insulation down to the vapour barrier. We used to use nails, then we went over to screws, then we went over to thermally broken screws. Now the trend is to glue the insulation down. But we have to have a vapour barrier that is fully adhered to the new decking and you can see here this silver that we've we've got down and we're going over the top of is fully adhered down to the OSB which is below it. So one question arises is how good is this and how does it all uh, hold together because as you can see there's not fully bonded the boards don't actually have glue everywhere um, well we put more glue around the edges because of what we call uplift but let me just show you a little experiment that I did earlier so what I've got is a piece of old ply and on top of it I've put an offcut of the self-adhesive vapour barrier. Over the top of that I'm now putting the expanding foam. The insulation that I've got behind it, an old piece, slightly bowed and as I put this over the top of the foam, the foam is going to carry on expanding, filling all the gaps around the edges. You can just see how it expands around the edges um, over a, a small period of time. So this is going to take about 15 to 20 minutes for it to continually uh, expand and to glue this down. Um, all the time we have to walk over them just to make sure that they are down as, as best as possible. I've started ripping this apart and as you can see it's really difficult to try and separate the insulation from the vapour barrier. So how difficult is it to get the vapour barrier up from the OSB? And if you look here, you can see I'm really having difficulty lifting this up. In fact, I'm actually bringing strands of the OSB up with this vapour barrier. The vapour barrier is a very good bit of kit. Well, hopefully this has explained a few things about how we put the insulation down. If you need any more help, my name is Stephen from London Flat Roofing.